Hi everybody, my name is Imad Habib. Uh, I'm international student here at Soro State University. Uh, I'm from Libya and I'm doing my master degree here in mass communication. I uh, remember when I was in a school, uh, the general level of education was very simple. Uh, also the classroom were not content more than 20 students. Um, I can say that the education process is very limited if we compare the current situation. After entry the 20th century, the situation has changed completely. The use of, uh, of technology in the educational process uh, con contribute significantly to uh, raise the level of education. In fact, the real motivation for me was the uh, son of Muammar Gaddafi. That person made uh, a lot of support in the education field in Libya and he opened the field of uh, study outside of Libya that gave a chance to many students to learn another language, uh, another culture. Uh, that was one of the causes of development in the field of education in Libya. My name is Adair Omar and I am a classical Caledonian student. I've got my master's just last month and I was I used to study in Intu or language which is very lovely and nice school. And we are here now organizing Open Libyan Day, International Libyan Day. So we've got uh, different uh, culture shows and different universities here. Uh, we try to represent, to represent Libya, Libyan culture, part of the Libyan cultures. And I am mainly responsible about the Libyan education. And as you can see here from the posters, we've got 10 universities over Libya covering all uh, the area of Libya, as we can see, just to make sure that each student in Libya has the same opportunity to finish their education and got the opportunity to go abroad and continue their education there. We've got 10 universities. Under every each university, uh, minimum 10 faculties and there the, student, the university conducting a program, uh, a governmental program for students. So uh, first rank student or smart student, they've got the chance to go abroad and continue their education and have a real opportunity to have a fraction with different culture and get uh, also experience with different people and learn different language. And then, then when they came back, they work as a part of teaching stuff at these universities. And we are really happy to have you here and this event and I hope you all enjoy it and I hope you all like it. I mean, uh, whatever his political orientation, but we must thank him because he was one of the reasons uh, that developed our education. Uh, I consider the technology as a, the, the most important part of the education process. Uh, it can be used to raise uh, the level of education and contribute to give chance to uh, teach remotely. Also using the communication uh, technologies uh, that give a chance also to many, to many students, they can finish their education uh, even without coming to the class. The other example for using the technology to develop the education, uh, I can give you this example uh, the disabled people who are uh, 
enable to walk. We can provide many uh, educational service to them uh, by sending some course online or allow them to access to the university website. So uh, in that time, they can save their money and their time and they can finish their education. I took online classes because it uh, freed up that little bit of time that it takes to drive back and forth from school and I was working full time at the time so every minute counted for something so that was extra time I had to do work and everything. I chose to take, to take online classes because uh, that was what was offered this summer and it was the most convenient for me. I want to take online classes because it uh, helped me to save time and also I, uh, I want to do everything online it's because it's uh, easier for me to, to take this class. I chose to take online classes because they are um, more convenient with my work schedule and it, the convenience was a big part of that. Uh, because. Uh, for long distance learning, uh, I took it in my home country for the summer quarter. Yeah, that's pretty easy for me to uh, finish the required classes online. Uh, my goal in the future, um, after I finish my master degree, so I'm gonna be a professor in Sabha University. So, when I return back to Libya, I hope in that time uh, I'm going to be able to advise my students to use the technology inside the class um, and more even if, uh, if they're going to use it out of class, like uh, in public library or in their house, uh, because I already get experience about that here and that's my goal actually um, also another things i want to say thank you for all the stuff inside soro state university because i'm really proud uh, to be one of a thousand and a thousand students here inside the soro state university